285 years in prison. That's how much time 13 defendants were sentenced to serve after their roles in a widespread gang and drug operation here in Cobb County. The Cobb County District Attorney says the evidence in the case was so strong, these gang members agreed to plead guilty rather than take their chances with a jury trial. Heroin trafficking scheme crimes, run by a highly organized gang, the, streets, the so-called the Good Products Team. All 13 of those defendants, including that uh, gang member's mother, have now entered a plea of guilty to RICO violations. Chill. Rest in peace, Marzi. Long Lil JB. Lil 448. Bambino, RP to the ones that we no longer together. And to my friends that here today, I hope we live forever. Till my home is lost away, I got their kids forever. Long as me and them straight, I'm a forever itself. Finding somebody to keep it real, they'll forever be special. Nowadays, people think they sleek and they don't know that I'm clever. So many different religions, I don't know what's the deal. Mommy and dad, both Christian, we just pray for each other. I hope the face. Keep the distance, stay away from me, short. I rock loose cause I'm Christian. I got blood on my keys. Ever ask about this dude that say I play with them grease. And when it's time to get rude, they say I play with them sticks. Don't be the murder of an Atlanta rapper found dead in Macon County is speaking out tonight. She wants answers following the death of her son and his friend. Today she spoke with WSFA 12 News reporter Samantha Day. She has her story. On November 17th, at about 10.30 p.m., Aida Harris heard a knock at her door. It was kind of a, uh, you know, kind of a loud knock. She knew. Uh, you know, and I felt like if something was wrong, and I ran to the door, and I peeked out the curtain, I saw it was police officers, and I knew immediately it was about my baby. Her baby. 29-year-old Atlanta-based rapper Edward Reeves. But his fans knew him as Bambino Gold. People that told me they had been following his music for so long. Reeves and his friend Kendrick Stokes were reported missing on November 7th. Their bodies were found almost a week and a half later in Macon County. It was the worst feeling I have ever felt in my entire life. It still is the worst feeling that I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, these past days is just like a living nightmare that won't stop. It won't stop. A nightmare she can't wake up from. We're not going to rest until we find out who did this to them and so we can get justice for them. Reeves was laid to rest on Saturday and Stokes' funeral will be on December 2nd at Free Will Baptist Church in Montgomery. Samantha Day, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Bad Super 2. I got Beverly Neville. You know, for this um Thursday month, yo, I'm gonna do for this um Thursday for y'all. Okay, uh, okay, I probably do the latest video about, you know, I, I seen the web to the rapper with six careers up in China again. Could the video talk about the late rapper, um, I said, Band of Gold. You know, he's a rapper, you know, I said, from Montgomery, how, uh, um, how he was murdered. Um, I said, back around 2017, I said, I said, I said, I said, his cousin, um, Kendra Stokes, you know, as um school with Tuli, uh, so both of them was found dead at the time in Ohio. Um, so I feel like you know the murders kind of solved right now to where I think nobody would call for the crime, so they you know um find dead. Could reveal you know talk about you know his life and his death, so everything. So here we go, man. Okay, Edward Reeves, you know as um, I said as um. I said, Blaine Gold, he was a rapper in Atlanta, but he actually, I said, from Montgomery, Alabama, the Gump. So he first got caught up in the streets in the, um, I said, Montgomery by, I think, doing street activity and, I think, game banging. But he also had a passion for rapping. So he left the, the streets alone and um, basically started rapping. So he started to take rap seriously by. I could put on mixtapes and uh and, and I think and so uh, I think he moved out to Atlanta. I guess it'd be his rap career at the time. He met the uh, rapper, you know, I read the read to where they put out their the single called Honey Shooters and they were actually homeboys until things went bad I say in their career. 
Okay, Robert done read Reed went to prison for allegedly setting up the fact to get murdered. And um so the rapper you know, Ben Gold who also was shot in Tyson's sixteen over some street. Um, you know, I say that I say no I seen all the street shit that happened to where he was shot and how how he survived the attack. You know, I think we better rapping again, so I think he survived the attack, so and um uh, Okay, I feel like a rapper um uh, Venom Gold was a dude that was I think a local rapper from the city, so he was a rapper down in Montgomery to where he you know, had um no trying to branch out, you know, do his thing get outside that Atlanta. Uh, to Atlanta be sit to where like Robert should make it out of, you know, this Montana from but but you know, I feel like the rapper number you know, go was a dude that was, you know, on the rise, man, to where he would, you know, do a lot of shows around the whole the whole country, man. The whole um I said down south. And so I feel like that the rapper you know, Ben the Gold was a dude that was, you know, got a time to rap, man, but so I do feel like that I guess the um I guess I think he's on on life cut short. Um at times where I think his death was kinda of tragic man to the whole the whole state of Montgomery and you know, Atlanta though. And um but and so I feel like that the rapper you know, um yeah, I think um his cousin um uh, Ken Stokes was a uh I think Montgomery I think um hold on. I probably said he's a um a Montgomery I said motor down here. Uh, to where he was like house party and shows out here, so he was a dude that had met, you know, been the gold. So, uh, so uh, I think the cousins time, so the cousins, um, but they ain't met each other, so I feel like they, you know, both more, or I guess, got killed, man, all of a sudden, beef that happened, so, you know. Okay, the video, I'm gonna get down to what caused the freak between, you know, what Reddit Red and, um, and him, man, but, okay, I've seen some on video on YouTube in the past to where, you know, it's a big, um, so I feel like they you know be behind um you know I think ready to read to I guess be behind them I guess it's be between but both dudes over music over loyalty man over money man but and so uh so I think to win and you know uh, and so I think he got be with the dude Alibo too you know, from Atlanta and, and so the Alibo had be with the dude you know uh, I think man to go over some you know I say also sweet stuff that happens so I, I guess they got some beef. All the, you know, all around stuff like that, you know. I said, I think we after, um, the dude, after Aaron Reed, he was missing. Um, so I seen a video a long time ago to where he did live dissing on the, the dude, you know, Benny Gold, saying that if, um, you know, if I think why rappers go missing from dead somewhere, man, but I feel like he was dissing the dude over the beef that had going on at the line. So I feel like that, you know, it's a beef for him. You know, him and I do do it on, you know, right to read. And so I do feel like that, you know, um the Robin and Bring Goals, um, he kinda uh kinda figured out that his life was basically ain't value, man, to where he was, you know, but um back around time seventeen, you know, okay, he was him and his um cousin, um, King Stokes traveled to Montgomery. Basically, visit some friends and I guess a mom, I guess, and family I do, and how they, you know, um, to I discovered, you know, to where they was like driving a, I think, a white van in my gun, to where they were driving a white van at the time, to where, you know, you know, we're missing too. And so they had like, you know, went to Montgomery and they traveled through the whole, the whole city at the time until they tried to see friends and family, and somehow they ain't went wrong to where, you know, uh, to where they was found, you know, they were missing, and it was like, you know, they were gone for a couple, a couple of hours, and that was, you know, um, how they were missing. And so I think, you know, the whole Montgomery and the whole Atlanta, basically trying to look for them, uh, until where their family felt kind of, kind of like probably concerned about their whereabouts. Is I seen the video too, I think, um, I said Bango's mother had, or oh, let me see, uh, um, let me say the, yeah, I think mama had. Did a type of interview with the Devils of Faith people saying that on um, that his son was missing uh, to after her son uh, I saw him missing it uh past few weeks and how he wasn't found man but I do feel like that you know I think you know the other mother uh, of a King Stokes mother had this same thing trying to like tell that I guess her son was you know I could miss it too so I think both of them of you know wasn't found you know the bus you know um. And so I think both of them, I said, were missing time to where both of them wasn't even found, you know, uh, alive. But, and so I think a couple of days later, you know, they found both men shot to death and murdered, man. But, um, you know, somewhere in Macon County area, you know, 
somewhere part of uh, yeah, possibly part of the like, Tuskegee area to where they found murdered, you know, in the woods. So I don't know what it was that would follow or or either, you know, follow either was targeted, I don't know, man, both like I think both men was targeted by somebody and had to with found killed, murdered though. But I do feel like that, you know, the death wasn't solved. I guess for the past seven years due to some, you know, I guess nobody was caught for the crime, but and so I do feel like that you know the, the um yeah. And so I do feel like the families of the victims was not found in the past seven years and had it was you know, was I saw dead. So they um say they I think they were traveling to make a county, I don't know, man, but you um, know and so they hey <clears throat> So, um, so, uh, so, your friend, the mothers told the news say they, you know, I think they were buried, you know, you know, they were buried, uh, you know, at the, at Montgomery. Uh, um, so I do feel like, you know, the mama of the young rapper, you know, Ben Gold said that I think they he was buried, you know, put in the ground. I think, you know, I guess Ken Stokes' mom name is, um, um, yeah, I think they do. Scud with Tully was a uh you know, a, a type of hype um type of mode in Montgomery he so and so he's a a top top mode in Montgomery to where he do shows you you know a concert around Montgomery so he, so I guess he was found dead too so he was found murdered and so I guess in the both of them was put to death you know you know on the ground so they found murdered and they you know I guess I guess you know, I said you know they survived so it's, and so they all, you know, they had them all, so they all dead, so they all very much more, you know, in peace right now. So, so I passed out P2, the uh, two dudes, man, they had got killed, man. You know, the rapper, um, you know, Benning Gold in the, um, I say, yeah, I say the Montgomery, you know, I said Motor, Kendrick Stokes, aka Scoop the Tully. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So, peace. I'm out here. Take care. Peace.